Working to be seen. I've been fighting this for almost half an hour. Okay. 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 So now I can finally go live on Instagram because YouTube is now finally working. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that I'm late. I'm so sorry. I was meant to be here at 9 o'clock, right? Hi. So I was meant to be here at 9 and um. Yeah, yeah, my, my YouTube, YouTube stream just decided not to work. Guys, it's been stressing me out. Obviously, I'm crying. But I'm not crying. We're right here. Right so, yes. I just wanted to wait because I know Instagram will work a lot of the film stuff than YouTube will. So, finally, here. I'm just going to probably wait a few minutes and a few of the ladies to sign on and log in. And then I will start. I'm, I'm so, so sorry, guys. I feel so bad. bad. It's not, not my fault that I really, really was trying for ages. Um, but yes, if you can hear me on YouTube, please say hi. Write something in the comment section just so I can see that it's all working. Um, because this thing definitely, definitely stressed me out. <laughs> How are you all doing today? How are you all doing? Guys, this is on YouTube going live thing. This is definitely a difficult thing. I've learned so much. Um, so much technical stuff that I'm not normally used to. So, yes. But if I'm in live, I'm so... Oh, yeah. Hi! Okay, okay so, so it's, it's working. working. I, I can definitely, definitely see your lovely comment. comment. Oh, yay! It's, it's working. working. Yeah, yeah, how can you say something? So, so thank you, Stupid Dream. Yeah. In fact, in fact, let me double check. Is this better? better? So we're just trying to make sure it's all working. Hi! Is it better? Know what I think? I'm just trying to sort out my YouTube um, stream. I finally got it to work. Guys, you don't understand the struggle that I've been through this evening. Just a week here. Instagram is fine. You just click a button and it's good. YouTube, difficult game. Okay? Try to stretch it out. But I'm good and I'm excited. I'm just trying to make sure that um, the audio is fine. Hi, Toby. Hi. Thank you. So, so can you hear me and it's not echoing for all my YouTubers? Because I've heard that I can't really echo it. So just to be crystal clear um, before we get started. How are you all doing this evening? Today obviously we're talking about hair, we're talking about natural hair. I'm going to show you a live demonstration of how I style my hair. So while we wait, could you please tell me, let me know what hairstyle you currently have right now? If you're taking a wig off, you're saying I'm going to my cane in my face. 
is the good of God. Tell them what, your, what kind of style your wig is in. If you've got braids, what have you got? So what hairstyles do we have going on? And you can see I've got my high path. It's actually quite dry. Like, yeah, it might not look nice, but my hair is very dry right now. So I've got the dry, dry high path. Yeah, there's an echo, and but it's not distracting. All right, now you have braids. Awesome. Thanks, Koji. I really appreciate that. So it's not distracting. That's good. That's good. So sorry about the echo. Um, the protective style, style two strand twist at the front, and the ponytail. Ooh, wig off, okay. <laughs> Keep it real. That's it. Um, yeah, so. I think literally going to wait a few more minutes and then we can get started. Hi, Amy. Welcome to my live demonstration of how I style my natural hair. Might be interesting to you as a friend. Very beautiful. It's so nice when you see loads of people like that in the mirror, it's like, oh my gosh, hi! You know, that's how it feels. So, yes, in case you don't know, I'm sure you all know now that I thought you were here. Um, today, I'm doing a live on. For Rose, we're going to be talking natural hair. Um, I blog and I do, you know, YouTube and stuff all around my natural hair, my faith in Jesus Christ, and also fashion. So last week we looked at faith. We looked at yeah, what did we talk about? We talked about so many things. We looked, talked about how do you steward what God has given to you. Um, we spoke about what have I found, I guess, the hardest in my walk with the Lord. So that live is still available on YouTube. If you missed it last week, you can go and have a look at that conversation and um, see my first live. And I was there at nine o'clock. Whereas today, we're talking froze. We're talking, um, hey bro. We're talking um, natural hair. We're talking, yeah, 4C natural hair in particular because this is my hair type. Um, I'm not a hairstylist. However, I have always, always, always loved Hair. I've loved doing my hair since I was a little girl. I actually wanted to be a hairdresser. Didn't quite work out for me. I took a different route into marketing and branding. Um, but I always have loved presenting myself well and my hair well. And you cannot style without having good hair. I mean, you can have an amazing outfit, but if your hair is a little bit, mm, it can ruin your whole vibe, your whole look. So for me, I'm always talking about styling from head to toe from the inside out so today we're talking about head look we're talking about head to hair and then next week we're going to be doing you know head to toe talk about clothing and last week we also did the inside out and over here we have grace who's saying that she's taken her bun out for bed and she has one flat on the side nice so after i do this lovely demonstration i'm, I'm going to actually go to sleep with the hairstyle that i'm about to do live um because that's how I do this. I do my hair and then I just literally go to sleep and then I just kind of work on it. Wow. Donald Trump apparently is in the building over here on uh, YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Donald Trump over here saying thank you for your vote, everyone. Keep them coming in 2020. Hashtag build the wall. Wow. Wow. Guys, Donald Trump's in the building right here on YouTube Live. Um, very interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, so before I actually start getting into doing my hair stuff and my hair demonstration, I kind of just want to give you a little bit of a backdrop of my hair journey. If you haven't seen the video before, I've got a full like 20 minute video talking about my hair journey, why I went natural and it's in depth. However, a very long story made short for our time here together. Um, I primarily went natural after years of relaxing my hair and I had good, healthy, relaxed hair. My hair was long, my hair was thick, not as thick as it is now, but it was definitely thick. I didn't have any problems with my scalp, like I had good hair because I looked after my hair um, and I've always been somebody who's kind of really into hair um, and I was also somebody who was very into weaves. This is way before the wig 
kind of life started so wigs not wigs but weaves used to be my thing i didn't go to anywhere important without a weave yeah without a weave it wasn't in like braids it was weave i had to have tracks i had to have weave that looked natural but had that thickness so i have kind of that was my journey before and i lived in weaves and then fast forward i'm at university and i've got a little sister my beautiful little sister and um we were very very close and from young she used to always be like i want to have hair like you and mommy i want to have hair like you and mommy and there i was telling her no no natural hair is beautiful natural hair is beautiful and i'm there with my relaxed hair didn't quite work because as you will know i think telling someone you know do as i do i mean do as i say but don't do as i do is not a very good way to decipher them it's not a good way for them to for you to teach them and show them that you are somebody kind of either worth following or someone who's um, true to your word in a sense. So I was trying to teach my sister, you know, that natural hair is beautiful. She's beautiful how God made her. And yeah, I was failing miserably because she was kind of like, that's interesting. So why don't you have it type of thing? She never said that, but she kept on having that conversation with me about wanting like straight hair and there's nothing evil or wrong about having straight hair but as you know black women we know that our hair is not naturally straight unless we straighten it or we chemically straighten straighten our hair our hair is not made straight that's not how god designed and created us and i never really had that kind of oh we need to have you know our own hair is very black kind of thing that's not really where it came from for me even though i love being black and all that good stuff but it just came from that place of wanting to be a good role model for my sister so i initially thought okay let me just go natural this is my third time by the way in my whole life of trying to go natural and it was interesting that my sister was the biggest motivation for me so before she was born i tried to go natural it didn't work out for me i couldn't deal with the transitioning and i just relaxed my hair First time was like after like six months of not relaxing. Second time was like after nine months of transitioning. I was like, I can't do this. I had a wedding to go to. I was like, listen, my hair needs to look fly. So I relaxed my hair again. Um, for the third time, my sister's now alive. Hi, welcome. I'm just sharing my little backstory about my hair journey. Um, so when my sister was around, obviously, she was the biggest motivation for me to actually do this because I was like, I want to be someone a woman who's true to her word and when i say something to her i want her to see it feel it you know be about it um hey priscilla hey sis so um yeah so that's why i went natural my little sister was the biggest driving force for me and i thought my plan was let me go natural then when my sister sees me rocking my hair doing my thing and loving my hair she'll start to love her hair so when she starts to love her hair i'll go back to relaxing my hair again that was my plan but that never happened. So I literally, yeah, I went on that journey. I started to transition. I transitioned for one year because I, I just couldn't do the whole big chop for my law and stuff. I think some women can rock that and look amazing. But I was used to having like long, relaxed hair. So I didn't want to have a drastic change. So I transitioned for one year. And after one whole year, I then decided to cut the relaxed part off. And so that, that, video is actually on youtube so if you haven't seen it before check out my youtube channel when you'll see the video and i just chopped it myself at home no deep hair experience i'm good at styling but in terms of cutting hair i have no experience um but yeah i think it went well thank god you know um it went well my hair was still growing and stuff like that so that was kind of my journey hey sis that was my journey of why i went natural um yeah, and what kind of made me become a natural hair blogger because I just started experimenting with my hair and I started this like years ago, like six years ago. I'm going to put a comment here. That was a great motivation for looking out for someone else's benefits and example for your sister. Yeah, it was. I think God knows me and although I wanted to go natural, my sister is like, like, uh, I love my sister so much, so much and... I've always wanted to be the big sister to her that I wished I had in my life when I was her age. So yeah, my sister was a massive, massive. I always tell her today, like, for those of you, I would be natural. So yeah. Um, but yeah, where was I? Yeah, so my hair, natural. So the comment kind of threw me off. My hair, natural. Oh, guys, I don't really know it exactly. But long and short, that's why we're natural. And um, since then, I've literally been, like, 
oh, just I've been all over natural hair. I've been like learning my hair and I've taken time to get to know my hair. And one of the things that I did from very early on, and I believe this was wisdom from God, was that I made a conscious effort when watching YouTube videos, when going on blogs, when doing whatever, not to follow and subscribe to YouTube channels of women that had hair that was not my hair texture. Because if I was looking at a woman with like three C curly hair and all of that and she can do this twist down, it can look amazing and I'll try to do it in my four C hair and yeah, it would not work. And that would be so discouraging. So from very early on, I learned, no, if I want to win, I need to look at people that have hair that's like my hair. And so that was one thing I did, which I'd also give you as a tip. Know your hair texture. And then if you want to be inspired, you want to see how you can style your hair, look for people that have hair like you. So I've got 4C hair. And um, I'll have to do another video to, to not take up too much time today. Um, but there's a chart, and the chart has different types of hair. Um, most black people tend to be like a 4B, 4, 4C, probably the majority of us. Hey, Tarika, hey, sis. Um, and then, yeah, so it kind of goes 4A, 4B, 4C, and then, yeah, the rule goes through 2, 2A, B, C, and then like that. Um, um, and so that's kind of, yeah, how I went with my journey in the beginning. I just looked at people who had hair like mine so that I would be encouraged and inspired and not feel rubbish about my curls because... Let's be honest, years ago, especially six years ago and beyond, natural hair was not a big thing and it was not common to see somebody with natural hair wearing it well, especially not in the UK, like I don't know about anywhere else in the world, but in the UK that was not hot. So it was a lot of, yeah, it was a long process internally um, that took place for me to be able to actually say, I'm going to wear my hair, my hair, period type of thing so yeah i've been on this long journey of really challenging myself who used to literally live on weaves <laughs> to love me as i am um because i used to learn weaves way too much like not everybody has that issue but for me weaves was like if i want to look my best i need a weave if i want to look my best it needs to be like 16 to 18 inches needs to be curled it needs to be this and there's nothing wrong with that look but for me and where my heart was at, that is what I was seeing as beauty, the straight, the, that kind of look. So it was a process for me to get to this place now where I love natural hair. And I talk about it all the time because it was like a realisation that God didn't make a mistake with the hair type he made me with. And yes, it's hard work. It's not It's not a walk in the park. You know, we all know that with natural hair. However... Oh, it's so liberating being myself. It's so liberating going to work like this. It's also liberating going to job interviews. You know, in the past, I'm not even going to job. I'm very happy. But um, going to, like, job interviews with my hair like this, I just love it. It's like, this is me. And I bring me to the table and what I can offer. And my hair doesn't get in the way. So, yeah, I know that natural hair isn't always seen as professional. But it is professional. And it can be professional, depending on how you style it. So, today, I'm going to show you um how i style my hair for you know like wedding season um some ideas so i know wedding season is literally here it's upon us so my phone is just going a bit dark oh sorry oh gosh so bad on instagram yeah so wedding season is obviously here and um what should i say it's just coming it's coming it's here i don't know it's ish i mean i've really got like an invitation for august well this is very rare but some of you guys have really been at weddings, you know. So I wanted to just kind of give you an, an idea. And so this was your favourite hairstyle that you wanted me to do. Favourite hair. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just start doing my hair. I'll be talking to you as I'm doing my hair to show you. <laughs> well done, you made it. You're here for the live. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be going through all the different products that I use. I'll show you the products. None of this is... Um, sponsored, although I do have one of the products here that has been a previous sponsor, so it's part of my hair range. Um, but yeah, these are just things that I use to make my hair work for me. Okay, so I'm gonna just get started and take down my high puff. And so today's high puff is probably different from what you see in my pictures because my edges are not done. I literally just put it up, went to work, and that was literally it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna. Take, take it down, down gently, gently so, so again, again I don't just pull when I take my band down, down. Um, I, I do, do it very gently, gently because I don't, I don't like, like to pull my hair, I want to preserve my hair. So this is my hair at the moment, it's 
Last, Last time, time I did, did like a proper, proper linen check, check, it was like the last track below. Hi, Uncle. Um, not the thing that's doing it. Hi, Uncle. Yeah, so last time I um I did my hair, I was, it was like brass track below. No, my hair isn't stretched, guys. I'll show you, this is not, yeah, my hair's not stretched. This is my hair dry. This is dry hair. This is why I was doing this. It's not moving properly. Um... When my, my hair, hair is stretched, stretched like, like yeah, it's stretched. stretched. It, it, you can, can tell the length, length, but at the moment, this is it. This is it. Um, um, what's it called? Sh shrunk. And, and so, so what, what I do in order to revive my hair before I do any, any kind of styling, combing, parting, parting anything, anything, I spray it with water. water. And, and so, so you'll see. see. I've heard from some of my friends that apparently my hair doesn't shrink that much. I'm like, yes, it does, because my hair is like normally like. Yeah, yeah, like brush up and then it lines here when it's when it's long, when it's um, straightened. But, but yeah, yeah, so water. This is just like a spray bottle. bottle. This is literally, literally just water by itself. There's nothing, nothing else in here. here. And so you should do it. Because I've got Instagram here, you should hear. So um, yeah, I don't think I can remember. So sorry. Let me see if I can do something about that. Sorry guys, my lovely YouTube friends and family are saying that there's an echo in my voice. I'm trying to see if I can do something about that to help them. Bear with me. I told you guys, this is why it took me half an hour to get here. Because it was very, very serious, guys. Just trying to sort this out. Um, I don't know if that's any better. I hope that's better. Sorry sis. Um, but yes. Um, so yeah, spray bottle. This is what I use to start like anything. So right now my hair is dry. Like, look, when I'm trying to part it, I don't know if you can. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. I can hear it sounds like straw, and I hate that feeling, and I hate that sound as well. Um, let me just grab one product that I left in my box. So yeah, I've got like a hair box. I don't know about anybody else, but I have like a giant box where I just keep all my hair stuff. Um, my husband's looking at me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just looking at the hair box. <laughs> I'm going to show you the hair box. Okay, guys, you don't have to have a hair box. I just have a hair box because I like to be organized, right? And um, <clears throat> I just, and can I just say, I'm not a product junkie, by the way. Hold on. Let me see if I can get you my this box. That's a crate. It's not a <laughs> He's calling it a crate. It's not a crate. It's a box. Okay. <clears throat> so... This is it, basically. You can't even see it fully. But yeah, it's one of those, like, really big boxes that has um, a lid and stuff. So yeah, that's what I keep all of my stuff in. I keep my hair dryer. I keep my straighteners if I ever need to straighten anything. I Yeah, everything goes into this lovely box. So when it's hair day, this box comes out, okay? Um, the box comes out and in that box is like everything that I need to make anything happen So right now I've just got a few of the products that I need and the things that I need on the desk So that it's easier for me to do but yeah, that's not a crate. Okay. I don't know why Arnold tried it. It's actually not a crate Okay, so um, Try out a four tier hair storage drawer. No, the thing is I don't like that I've tried the thing is this works for me because it's portable. That's why I like it because if I had a four tier drawer, it means when I'm doing stuff like I like to move around the house with them, like going to do it with the bedroom, I might do it in the front room and when I watch the telly um, with hubby. So then I need to be able to just lift and take with me. Otherwise, I'll be left behind somewhere and I don't want that. So that's why I have the box rather than like a drawer. Because I tried the drawer, but then it was like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom and condition. Then I'm taking bottles like this, dropping it in the bathroom, and it was just becoming very, very something for me. So, yeah, so spray bottle, that's how I start everything. So first of all, what I would do is literally start spraying. So people have different spray bottles. They have like that big garden hose one. That doesn't work for me because too much water comes out and I can't control it, whereas this one only like a little water comes out. So I start to spray from my what do you call this from my roots so i'm spraying my roots so you see normally when i'm doing this on youtube i'll be speeding it up but today we wanted you know the full thing so there's no speeding up so you have to really bear with me 
but we can just conversate. So I just start to run my, my hands through my hair. So my hair is not detangled. It is detangled, but it's not as detangled as it could be. Like I can feel it already. And just for the purpose of this lovely demonstration. So yeah, that's what my hair with water and this is what happens. So can you see? So it's wet, but this is my hair and it it probably won't shrink any more than this. Actually no, it will actually. It will probably go to about there. But yeah, for some reason with my hair, when it's wet, it just behaves. So I just take advantage of it. So again, I'm gonna put water in this side. And then I'm making sure that my ends get the water as well. So this was this was gonna help me when I'm basically styling my hair. Hey Francesca. So yeah, like this. Sorry, YouTubers, I'm doing my hair so close to my mic. And these days, because I'm doing a trim, right? I keep having these this like web thing happening with my hair. Like, I know I'm doing a trim, guys, like, get it booked. So I gently, I never yank my hair, because if you pull your hair, you pull all of the, the good hair as well. So what I do is I literally, I, I'm so extra, but I literally pull it strand by strand. So if there's any kind of um, knots, my good hair is not going to become ruined by it. So yeah, I'm just like literally lifting it. But this is not going to be a problem after I have my trim. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I've got my train booked for next week. Guys, I'm so excited to get my hair trimmed. I'm so excited. So yeah, this hair, like dead hair, just needs, yeah, needs attention. So yeah, my, the back of my hair is really feeling better. I'm going to take my wedding rings off just because I don't want it to get caught in my hair. And that, it likes to do that a lot. And so the style that we're doing today it has got um, the back is up in a bun and then the top is, I have no patience, I'm so rough with my hair, I'm so rough with my hair, I do not understand my hair. <laughs> you have to be patient, if you're not patient with your hair, honestly, you, you won't have hair. One of the things that I get asked before a lot is, what hair products do you use to make your hair grow? And the truth is, um, I'm going to share, when I get it trimmed and stuff, I'll share after, like, what's going to be happening and stuff, where I'm going and how much I'm paying. Um, but yeah, people ask me all the time, like, what products do you use to help your hair to grow? And yes, there are things like castor oil that can help. I barely use castor oil, in all honesty. I find it too thick and I'm just like, it's too much. But one thing that um, is true is that everybody's hair, unless you've got like issues with your scalp or something, does grow. Like everybody's hair grows. The problem is half of us or many of us don't know how to retain the length that we actually have. So my, your hair grows the same way my hair grows, but it's then learning how to look after the old hair because new hair is always growing and you know it because when you get your, your base done, your cane rope is done, or corner or however you pronounce it and um, for your wigs you will find that after some time they start to lift from your hair the, the, they become really loose and that shows that you've got new growth or you have braids done you see the new growth so it's not that your hair is not growing it's just that you don't look after it maybe or that you're not retaining the length so where it could be growing like this it's like it grows and it's like it, it breaks and whatever and so yeah in short your hair does grow our hair does grow so, I'll just put water. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Joan. So, yeah, I'll put water everywhere. The thing is, I'll probably be doing it a lot more, a bit more, and doing some deep detangling as well. But because of the time and because of where we are, hi, Nibs. Um, I'm literally just, like, making sure that I can feel that my hair is no longer dry. So honestly, guys, I'm just like spraying it, as you can see. This hair, this, this hair here is dry. Now this is all like nice, and it's even more fluffy. I don't know if you can see that it's more fluffy. But yeah, for this style, what you need to do is separate hair at the top in a U shape. So if you think of a U starting like that, going like that, in a U shape. So 
this is going to create the part that we're going to do the quiff now when your hair is dry like this and it's not freshly washed don't even try it don't try to put no comb and force it you'll just break your hair the best thing to do again is water for me water is the way forward if i'm going to part anything i have to use water every single time so here we are Honestly guys, water is the way forward. Water in a spray bottle and then I'll follow it up with a nice coconut oil as well. But guys, I left my hair till it was dry just so that when I come today I'll have something to show, you know. So you can see how you can actually go from very, very dry bad hair and make it look amazing. So yeah, so we just got interested. Yeah. That's what I was actually going to ask you guys, but guys, I think I need to put my hoodie on, because I don't want to ruin my top. Um, so yeah, where I'm going to now part the hair in my U shape, I like to do it just in line with where my eyebrow pretty much arches. So around here. I don't necessarily do this, because I know my face, I just know where to part. But just so that you have a reference point, it tends to be where my eyebrow arches, like here, is roughly where the the incision of the first kind of um, parting needs to be. And where my hair basically definitely needs a good detangle, um, and I would have detangled it by now. Again, I'm just using my finger, as you can see. And I'm using my finger in a section where it's actually like wet, not wet, but it's damp so that when I'm parting like now, it doesn't give me any problems. So what I like to do is I use my finger first and then I use my comb, which I'll just grab now because I didn't bring it up. So I use one of these combs. Yes, it makes the quiff a decent size. Yes, because if you start your quiff from here, like level with like let's say your eyes the quiff will be so small and it will look just malnourished and it doesn't look as nice as when you have a really big quiff and then you're able to play with it more so that's what i always do just there it is so then i would use like my would you call, this is when my hair is not detangled guys honestly this is not how it should be done every day this is the when i know I don't have time to do any deep detangling and I know I need to look decent and look like somebody's wife, okay? <laughs> Literally, this is what I'm like, no, we need to, we need to just fix up quickly now. So I'll use my comb, <laughs> I'll use my comb and I'll just kind of like guide where I want it to go. And I'm not yanking, thank you, the rat tail, come through, rat tail. I don't pull it. I just use it as a guide. Now I know where I want to go, and then I'll use my fingers again to just separate it some more. Guys, as you saw, I didn't pull it hard. I'm telling you, you don't want to lose hair, and I'm very extra with my hair. My hair is super duper tangled, and I wanted you guys to see that, you know, I don't just wake up with my hair looking on point and stuff. Like, it's, it's, it's work, but it's work that I don't mind doing. Guys, look, there we are. Can you see? It's becoming neater. So I'll do it probably again. And this is because my hair is not detangled. So it's like I'm making it longer for myself. Of course, I could have detangled my hair and come here with my hair all nicely detangled. But I'm guessing not all of you detangle your hair all the time. And sometimes you've got places to go, people to see. And yeah. So again, this part needs more water. That's better. Mm. Guys, you know in all my life, right, since I've had my hair natural, I've had one person other than myself style my hair. One person, one stylist, and that's Tarika, who I tagged on for my bridal shower. She's the only person in my, what, six years of having my hair done who actually did my hair sat there, trusted her to do my hair, and she did an amazing job, guys, honestly. So, 
we thank God for people that are gifted in this hair game because it's not everybody, you know. And yeah, yes, girl, you are the only person to ever touch my hair. Other than that, I just style my own hair and just manage. So, guys, right now the struggle will be so real, yeah. That's it, right there. Rachel's hair is huge. Thanks, loves. Um, the struggle is so real right now because of the fact that my hair is not detangled. But look, we're getting a U-shape. Can you see our humble U-shape that's coming through? And the thing is, with this style, you actually do want your your lines to look clean. There are some styles I do, and I'm like, I don't care for lines today because it's going to get covered. However, there are styles like this one where you actually do want your hair to... Um, you actually do want your hair to be neat, and so this is where we, we hang out. I can feel that that part is going to give me a problem, so I can put some water. This is going to be the last part. <laughs> Izzy, I love it! <laughs> this is my sister, guys. She's just giving you guys the plug. So, yeah. This could be neater guys, I can't even lie, it, would, it could be and it, it, it can be neater but for where we are right now, I'm just going to accept it and take it as this is my U, my U shape. So yeah, this could be a, like 100% neater, I'm, I'm not even going to lie. And there are little, like there are bits like this for example where your, your line would be completely, completely, completely um, straight. Like, the picture that you saw, the line was straight. How do you protect your edges from too much manipulation from natural hairstyles? I just don't colour my hair when I do my styling. Um, so I don't manipulate it a lot. So, yeah, I just don't really do as much. So this is going to be our clip later. So just for now, I'm just going to twist it. And clip it out of the way. This is going to be our clip. And because um, what length do you need? You can have any length, to be honest with you, because if you don't have the length for the back, you can add hair, which is what I did when I was transitioning and when I fr first cut my hair. When I first cut my hair, my hair was like that long, but I would just gel it, and then with the little ponytail that was left, I would then wrap um, kinky hair around it and make it look like it was my own hair. So, yeah, there are definitely options. Hey Alicia! So yes, so then now we've got our U shape parted. And now for the the part which which makes the hair look established, which is basically the edges. And so this what you're gonna do with this part of the hair, hey from Toronto, you basically need to put this hair into a ponytail. And as you can see, my hair is not stretched, like I told you, it's not, as you can see, it's just that water helps me to um, be able to move my hair a lot more. Um, hey Nicole, water just helps me to be able to do so much with my hair. <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> no, just, um, sorry guys, I've just seen conversations on Instagram about Toronto. Yeah, so water helps me to be able to literally move my hair and do so much. So right now, this is, yeah, all the hair at the back. Not stretched at all. Looking like some scarecrow, but we're going to make it work. We are going to make it work. Sorry, I'm just looking at my little basket. Oh yeah, this is my mini basket. Do you know how I showed you my big, big basket? So this is my little basket that I basically use to just store the immediate things that I need. So I have like my hair bands and like my clips and this is like the immediate box. So then I can sometimes just take this with me somewhere and yeah, it's like a box within a box. So yeah, so now what I do is I spray my edges. So this is where it's going to be slick. And for me, if I want to slick my edges, I need water I don't, before gel before anything else and also I oh, the water's dripping. I don't like to um, I don't like doing that whole layering my hair with gel 
I'm sure you've seen it on YouTube where it's kind of like they take um <laughs> yes, you need a little basket in life. Um so I don't like that whole way you hold um you hold a piece of hair, put gel, then another layer of gel. It the results are amazing, don't get me wrong. Amazing results. The hair is so laid and if that's what you're looking for for a wedding or something, then it's one day. But if I'm going to work and I know that this week's hairstyle is going to be different from next week, I'm not going to do that to myself because that means I have to do heavy washing to get all that gel out of my curls. My hair is thick and long and it's drama. So I've never done my hair styled that way. I just put gel on top. So then when I'm washing, I just focus on washing here mainly and then we're good, you know? Um, so yeah. Yeah, spray, spray, spray. This is why when I do YouTube videos, I just speed it up because it's not very exciting. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. So I just, for me, I like to make it look as natural as possible and like as, yeah, as mean as possible. And I just feel like too much gel for me personally. Ugh, it just it doesn't work out. But, so I just grabbed something else from my nice basket. <laughs> So I've got two coat, two brushes. So I've got this kind of hard and soft brush for edges. Well, I've got this tea, Tangle Teaser brush. I'm a gel. <laughs> a gel. Do you say feed? Do you say feed? Friend? Fiend. What's a fiend? Addict. Addict. Oh, see, my husband, he's a walking dictionary. Gel addict. The thing is, when you did my hair and I'm seeing the gel, I was like, wow, you actually were okay. But I've seen, I've seen deep gel applications in this life. So yeah, I use this tangle, tangle brush to um to help me get my edges slick all the way at the back, and that sound is just the sound of the brush. It's not like my hair's breaking. Why is Liv laughing? So yeah, this is what I use. Can you see what it's doing to do my hair already, guys? It's already respecting me. So I'm doing this on the top part of my hair to get so slick, and then I'm holding it down, and I'm lifting it up, and lifting it up, edges ministry, trust me, edges ministry has to be legit, serious guys, this is just with water, we haven't even started the fun part yet, now how I tie my hair up, is by using, you know the band that you'd use for your eye puff? That's what I do, homie. So I take the band and I hold it in my hand on the side and then I just do this. And then I just keep going all the way that all the way around until the band is over. Because let's be honest, my hair's thick. And if you've got natural hair, sometimes trying to get a hairband around it is a it's a myth. For me it's a myth. So I just use my same band that I just used for my high puff that you saw me take down in the beginning I just keep going around but I'm not pulling it tight so it's very it's not loose it's tight enough that my hair is obviously being held in place but it's not so tight that I can't sleep and I can't smile and you know put my head up and down and move from side to side and you know if I'm going to a party I want to be able to dance well and not be having a headache because my hair is too tight I don't agree with that so yeah and then what I'll do is I'll just tie tie it there and then I just I just literally oh, let me show you I'm saying it but let me show you and I just tuck it in we're up guys Woo! Woo! we're almost there guys we are almost there so now, hair be up. Now this is where you can choose to either leave your afro hair out, or you can put it in a bun like a donut. I've got everything in my little box. Or you can put like a donut if you wanted like a donut look. Um, looking good. Thanks, sis. The light have a problem. The light has a problem. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. Ah, there we are. Hopefully it stays. I don't know if I can lock it. Sorry, guys. 
Oh, sorry, it keeps moving. I'm not sure why. Apologies. All my YouTube people that have any Wi-Fi problems. But yeah. So this is where we are right now. So we're we're kind of in in place. I'm so sorry. This lighting thing is now annoying me. Um. But yeah. So then this is where we are so far. Flick, flick, flick. Now, what I will be doing next is my edges. Yeah, edges and then back. Mm, yeah, edges first. So, for edges, you've either got, for me, Eco Styler, but there's some issues around Eco Styler, people are a bit funny about it. So, Eco Styler gel is not going to work for you. Move it over to Aunt Jackie's, okay? So, Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Curling Gel. I've never made no flaxseed gel at home. I just bought Aunt Jackie's. Aunt Jackie hooked me up, supported my ministry to my edges. So this is where we are. So inside is pretty much finito, finito, because I've been using it so much. But yeah, Aunt Jackie's is the way forward. And um, hey, YouTube gang, I'm so sorry. Here we are. And then, hey Sophie, salut. Don't kill me. So then, just lay it on. But yeah, it's very, very minimal. Like I told you guys, I'm not a massive, um, I'm not a massive gel, gel person. Like, it's so small. Like, you know, look how little that is. Little gel. Little, little gel. So yeah, edges are now just becoming laid. And then I also make sure you do the, your back, your nape, your back. Please, guys, don't just do the front and then the back of your neck is looking very just off key. It's not right. Please, please, please make sure you do your back because when someone sees your hairstyle, you want to make sure that at every angle it looks correct, it looks nice. You know, you can't just be doing the front, guys. I mean, I've seen some things yeah, where the front looks so amazing, but at the back, you know, when they're dancing, pepper grains are coming out. And it's, mm -mm, it's not cute, guys. Especially if you've got that nice off-shoulder dress. Then your pepper grains at the back just there. Mm -mm. Please. Hey, princess. Yeah, so make sure when you're slicking your, your, your front, you slick your back as well, please. Because we don't want problems. <laughs> so, yeah. That's me. So literally, guys, as you can see, I haven't caked it on. Easy. It's not caked on. But we're, we're still building, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. So now, that's when I get my brush, my soft brush. And this is now when I'm going to go over. And as I'm going over, can you see? And the back. The back. Told you about the back. Huh. Make sure you get that back well, well. Lifting it all the way up with my finger, like going over it with my finger. But I do the brush and I go over it with my finger. This is just my own technique and how I feel. Okay, no looks natural, very true. Can you see, guys? I told you this hair could slick. Get all excited. <laughs> Because I love it. I love it. Okay. So at this point, you can add more gel if you want to. For me, this is enough. I can live like this. Okay? Now, we should do the back and we're going to do the front. So for the back, the thing is, I actually didn't even rock my hair like this for work. I'm not even going to lie to you. I would 100%. In fact, I'm going to leave the back and I'll show you what else you can do. Let's do the front. You know this nice part? See ya. This part is now becoming a little bit more dry. But this is going to become the quiff. So, you've got so many options when it comes to the quiff. You can do a classic quiff of grabbing it, twisting it a little bit here, and doing this. When you gel it down, would you advise to scarf it? Yeah, I will. I'll show you. Yeah, I'll scarf it after. But I only scarf it when I finish everything. I only scarf it and when you reveal, it works out. But this is just to hold it 
my hair in place for now but I'm going to do the second layer afterwards so you can either do a crisp like this for example see how simple that was I just twisted it and you can pin it with your your pins and then you've got this kind of goes up there goes round it's very simple all I did as you saw is I grabbed it I held it and then I just twisted it down like that and because you've got the thickness from here to here it just looks more established so that's an option of what you can do or you can do the one that I had last week which is where I pull it all the way forward cover myself with some bang and then I I twist from here and as I'm twisting I'm bringing the hair from the back I'm twisting I'm twisting I'm twisting I'm twisting and I'm twisting you see like that you see oh that one is a bit funny here. see like this so that's another option and then you can pin it with bobby pins and you can even if you want if you know you feel like okay my forehead I want to cover a little bit you can bring it down you can do it like this and do this kind of styling you see this is where you literally can do whatever you want to create a masterpiece for your hair based on what suits your face um so yeah this part here you can do whatever you know some people might just do a very simple just like this like a sweep to the side and then pin it you know so just pin it like that um yes yeah, up to you i like drama with my hair and i like length of my hair and i like i just like when it looks established it just looks like what's going on you know so i would probably um yeah so many options girl you already know you already know so what i'll probably do is separate it in two for example as well this is another option thank you for our feed on youtube I'm not sure what's happening with the channel. Yeah, guys, the feed is just gone on YouTube. Um, I think I know why it's gone. Guys, I think it's my camera battery has disappeared on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oops. I don't know if I can still hear me. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be what I'll do next. Sorry YouTube family, I know the video has got actually no if the video is gone then I don't understand why that is. Oops. Guys, I don't know why the video is gone. I'm so sorry. Sorry Instagram people. Um I see where it did my hair on Instagram. Oh nice. So yeah, you can again take you can take them in sections. I think the one that I had in the picture I actually did it in sections where I I took it and then I like did this for example pinned that and then I took like this and went over it and then I pinned it so then it, it created this kind of shape already like this and then I think I took this part here and then I did that you see so then it pins it like that for the purpose of this demonstration which one am I gonna go for today well I just did that last one the other day this kind of quiffy one this one so i'm thinking how can i yeah i might do the section one sorry guys my husband's helping me with the youtube i'll be back youtube is it back oh it's the battery yeah i need to get a new battery um instagram fan could you please just bear with me for like what 10 seconds i just need to get my battery sorry guys this is um real life doing it live you know this is what happens i'm coming let me not break anything as i'm trying to you know Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry, guys. 
Let me just. Awesome. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, the line's fully whistling you there. Commercial break. Commercial commercial break. This is the real real guys when you're doing a live. I can't even lie. It's not it's not perfecto. This is why YouTubing is like the plug, because it's so much easier. There's none of this faffing around. Like right now my lighting's off key. That's why this keeps happening. So just give me another minute. Yeah, a little second or two. Oh my gosh, we're back. Thanks, babe. We're back on YouTube. Oh my gosh, we're back. Hold well on. Oh my gosh, guys. It's real, you know. Living this live, this live lifestyle. Mm -mm. If you don't have a production team, a friend. <laughs> YouTube famo, can you see me? Yay, we're back. Guys, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. So, see, every time I move, this thing is just not respecting my hustle, so I'm so sorry again, but I might have to just redo this, this video properly on, like, a YouTube, you know, like, a fast one with music and all that kind of nice stuff, but hey, we're having fun, so let's continue. So, what I'm going to do for my quiff today is, I'm going to spray it, first of all. No idea about my, ac my accent. What accent? Do I have an accent? No. London. I don't have an accent. Guys, why is he watching the face my eyeglass do? Okay, so I'm just spraying, spraying it with water. Letting the water just marinate into my hair. Okay, now... I love this part so much, guys. It's like there's just so many options of what I could do with it. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is just freestyle a little bit. I'm going to try freestyle. So I'm going to take this part here. And then I have my box of bobby pins. Hey, Jessica. Bobby pins, bobby pins. So I have a mixture. Guys, I have different bobby pins. I've got the long ones. Long ones. Can you see it? Long ones and small ones. So these two that I use, these are like my go-to. The English accent. Oh, thanks. I can't be, I don't have an English accent. Guys, do I have an accent? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you. Hey. And I also have obviously the classic bobby pins, these ones. These support me a lot in kind of helping me to slick down my hair. See, I know my face and I know that my face looks good when I have something going on there. So we're definitely going to do something like that. So we're going to do a little something, something like this. So this is my first one. And then slide in. You see? It goes up like this. Slide in. Then we've got see number two. Which way do I want to take it? See guys, there's so many options. I want to do another body thing because I can film the thickness of my hair. It's not laying as flat as I want it to here. So this is like perfect kind of bridal going, you know, if you want to be a wedding guest, you really want to turn up well well. So here, again, I can do whatever I want if I wanted to. I could wrap it down here, like this, mm, nah. or I could say, you know what, go here, mm, that's a bit, mm. I'm going to leave that part last. Again, like I'm saying, this, this part it really is just like a freestyle of doing whatever you feel works for your face, works for your hair. Thing is, I want, I know what I want, so I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like I've got it. So I'm twisting this part down here. Mm -hmm. I'm quite happy with that. No bob pin. 
it's a lie. Can you see the injection? Can you zoom in? And it's kind of lifting on the side. So we don't want that. Just lift. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to. So the live has got like 40 something minutes remaining, so it might cut out, and if it cuts out, I'm going to try to do a second live. If not, you might have to come over on YouTube for the, fin the finale. So like here, you can see how it's making my clip bigger. Because I've done it in sections, it gives it more, more lift, more everything. Yeah, guys, it's going to cut in 10 seconds on Instagram, so head on over to YouTube in case I can't do another live. Ooh. Sorry, guys, it just cut up my Instagram. YouTube family, you right here. Elsie and Ruthie. <laughs> my accent, your accent is strong, really, guys. Are you sure? Okay, so let me just try go live again for my Instagram. This is my second live because the first live finished. And then again, Bobby Pins. And then Bobby Pins. Welcome back, Bobby Pins. Thanks, sister. You guys are keeping me going. More bobby pins, more bobby pins. More bobby pins. So, can you see that we've already got shape taking place here? So, we've got a very established front situation going on here. So, and then I just use these small bobby pins. These ones, the small ones. You see the small ones? That's what I use to kind of frame my hair even more so if it's like hair is sticking out i'll just use it to kind of just hold it in so over here i've got a piece of hair sticking out so i'm going to use this to hold it in so right now i'm quite happy with this shape now you can go to your party like this hey or you can make it a little bit neater things i'm actually feeling it like this i actually like it but i know that some of you ladies definitely want this whole neat bun situation but like this is how you can do with your your afro and if you if you don't have an afro puff then you can obviously use like a donut you wrap your donut round and it looks neat because i'm going back i'm going to work tomorrow you know i need to be looking fly i think i'm going to do it like this husband do you like it like this or do you want it to be neater? <laughs> Man said it's good still. <laughs> he said it's good still. So yeah, so this is where we are now. Okay. Now. Towards the end, the grand finale. So, a little bit more of Aunt Jackie. Aunt Jackie. Aunt Jackie. And Jackson's back in the building. So then this is where I just do my edges ready for for coverage. So my hair's looking like this. Looking like this. This. So yeah, a little bit more on the edge on the edges, just because I want to make sure that it's established properly. And now I'm gonna put a little bit here at the front as well. Change the shape. Guys, I just saw the shape at the side. It's all right, you know. It's all right. It's all right, you know. So like a beast. Mm -hmm. We believe in this. Yeah, why not? And then what I love to use for my edges, cream of nature edge control. I do also have um, Aunt Jackie's edge control. But Aunt Jackie's is like a whack. I can't even, mm -mm. It, this aims your edges. This I feel like is a bit more like, I don't know, it's easier to use, it's softer, 
Um, but if I want to make sure that that hair is not going to move, Aunt Jackie comes out to play. But when it's just kind of like, I don't know, day to day wedding, then I definitely do use just the cream of nature. And again, just a little bit on my edges. Like so. And up here, we do baby hair as well. Yeah, I'm that kind of lady that has like the small sideburns, small, small sideburns that come to my ears. Because, yeah, my hair is long. How long does it last? The hairstyle or the edge control? Guys, look at the edges. And again, at the back, you can't neglect the back, guys. If you missed it before, please. Cream of Nature Extra Hold is my shout. I haven't tried it before, I need to, need to try that. But Cream of Nature definitely is the plug. And Cream of Nature, guys, is sponsoring my event that I'm doing. When am I doing the event? 4th of May. So if you're not coming to the event, guys, you are low-key missing out. I can't even lie because we've actually got giveaways coming from Cream of Nature. I've got so much Cream of Nature um products to give to you ladies who are coming so if you're not coming i'm sorry but yeah so the products that i use is going to be there so yeah for now i'm just doing my edges guys you saw me you saw where i started I started from the bottom now with you edges yeah 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 so now, toothbrush, classic toothbrush, you have to, just to make sure that there's, it's really, 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 really established on the edges. Thank you, husband. My dear husband has just, um, oh, how long does, how long does, oh, let me pin it. How long does the cream of nature last? Oh, um, I would say probably like the day, the whole day. So if you're doing it for like a wedding, you're good. You'll, you'll be looking established the whole day. How can you grow your natural hair? Um, natural hair grows. I don't think growth is necessarily the issue. The issue is more retaining the length, learning how to look after your, your hair, so conditioning, um, whether it be moisture or protein conditioning that you need. Um, yeah, that you can see growth of your hair if you look after the length. Because all of our hair grows. I was saying earlier, your hair grows. We can tell because when you do braids, you know how it starts to hang. That's growth. And when you do your weaves or your wigs underneath, and that hair's the, the regrowth. Yeah. So Ada, you asked me about head scarf. This is where I do my head scarf now. Yeah. Um. So I have my nice black head scarf. But after I've done my edges with edge control, this is when I apply my headscarf. And if you like that extra shine, I'm, this is an old school method, but remember this? Who knows about this? Who knows about this this old thing? This is like from my relaxed hair days, but my husband brought me back still, and it's been very good for me. So I just spray the quiff with some oil sheen. And I'll spray some of my hair at the back as well. With some oil sheen. What type of edge control do you use? I just showed before, but perhaps you weren't here, so I'll be happy to show you again. I'm just gonna put the lid on it. <coughs> I use this edge control, cream of nature. Oh gosh, upside down. I use cream of nature or I use this one, the Aunt Jackie's one. So cream of nature, or Aunt Jackie. You see, you see, you see. Yes, that's what I use. So yes, that's what I use. Um, cream of nature. Or Aunt Jackie's. So now I've done that, I've sprayed it. Now it's operation edges. So I put my nice headscarf on here. Because I don't want my afro at the back to be squashed, I'm only gonna do it lightly. And I'm pulling the back because I don't want the back to go flat but I do want my edges everywhere to be nice so this is what I'll then do yeah this is me so I don't necessarily use a blow dryer most of the time just because 
I would do my hair, then that's when I would go in do my makeup, or I would put my dress on, or I would, you know, be eating before I leave to go out or whatever. And I'll keep it on like this for 10 minutes, maybe, 5 sometimes. So I'll just sit here and, and hang with you guys with my nice headscarf, so that you all know it's real. Um... Yeah, so this is it. So yeah, shoot with your hair questions while we wait for my hair to, you know, marinate. And I'm going to show you some styling options of what you can do after you've done your amazing hair. Because it doesn't stop here, guys. So yeah, what hair questions do you guys have for me? I'm looking on YouTube as well. Any hair questions? Anything about the products I use? Anything about what I have in front of me, around me? I've got everything here, so I have to answer your questions while you wait and then I'll show you. What's one way I can retain length? Good question, sis. Um, do you have any tips? So one way I can retain length and do you have any tips for growing and strengthening edges? Okay, I'll do the length one first. Um, for the length one, so low manipulation on the actual ends of your hair, like the oldest part of your hair. So I finger detangle and I only use a wide tooth comb, a nice afro comb gently on my hair. Like say this is my hair, I never start up here and then pull. Otherwise you pull good and bad hair, it's not good. I start gently after I finger detangled. I finger detangle either with coconut oil in my hair on my edges or with a conditioner um, another way I think you can retain length is actually by having trims regular trims I say that very lightly because I've had like what, two or three trims in my six years but that's because my hair has been okay and handled but I do think trimming your hair so that if you've got any single strand knots which I have at the moment um, you will be able to um, yeah like deal with that Another way that I retain length, and I think you can retain length, I'm thinking, what else? Is that? I'm, in, I'm not on the spot, but I'm thinking right now, what can I say? Um, yeah, definitely think combing, the way you handle the, the ends of your hair. Um, I think generally protective styling your hair helps as well for me. So when I put them in braids, crochet braids, it's out of the way, I can retain length. Um, Moisturising your hair, oh my gosh, how could I forget? Moisturising your hair with water. I, for me, helps me to retain the length because I'm looking after it and I'm, I'm putting oil on top of it, so that helps to also retain the length. Um, so yeah, those are the, the things that I do, I uh, have been doing, that have been working for me um, to retain length. The question I had over here was, um, do I have any tips for growing and strengthening edges? Um, for growing edges, definitely, I would say, stay away from styles that pull on your hair like braids with, with a lot of extension on it like box braids that look amazing but they're not good for everyone's um, edges honestly they're not um, I do them sparingly once in a while you'll see me with box braids but I'm sure if you're looking at my content the last time I had braids was a very long time ago and um, hey sis um, and the reason why I haven't done braids in such a long time is because in 2000 and 17 I discovered a bold patch here right here in the middle of my hair yeah guys I cried not like I was going to cry I actually cried real tears dropped down my face um yeah it was really sad and it was it was because I was going through so much in that time of my life and I think just the stress of the season I was in such a hard season the stress of that all really um yeah really did a lot and as a result, my hair suffered in that season. Um, since then, glory be to God, after some prayers and after like, nope, I'm gonna go ham, like ham, like I'm gonna go, like I'm gonna be on it with my hair. <laughs> I um, I then stopped braids. So since 2017, I think I've done a braided style once. Yeah, for once since 2017, because it, it was so tender in the middle. And I'll, at one point I was like, is this alopecia? Like, what? Um, it was a lot. So, 
yeah, it's growing back now, but the hair there is like probably like that long in comparison to the rest of my hair. You cannot tell because I've got so much hair and also because I haven't shown you yet. But I was actually planning to do a video, but now I'm talking about it now, so I might still do a video so you can actually see the pictures. I took pictures of how the bold patch looked. It was really sad, guys. I can't lie. So yeah, I would say for your edges, just stay away from things that pull, like braids and stuff like that. Crochet braids really helped me a lot for my edges, so I'll do crochet braids that you don't pick up the baby hairs. Garnet braids, stay away. They are bad for edges, but if you've got good edges, then you can be okay if someone doesn't pull your hair too much. But if they do, then I'll definitely say stay away. Um, what else would I say um, for edges? Yeah, crochet has helped me a lot. I feel like if you're going to do wigs... I'm not a wig wearer, <laughs> but my sisters and my girls are, and I know that with wigs as well, you can still damage your edges when you have wigs on too much. So I think do everything in moderation. If you're going to do wigs, make sure you have breathing times as well, where you just look after your edges um, by you know, moisturising them with water, using products that have, um, what do you call this thing, um, castor oil, where you mix it together and stuff like that. Um, and also, I would actually say pray for your edges. It might sound very, 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 like, fickle, like, nah, so I'm not going to pray for my edges. But I think, you know, the Lord wants to be involved in every aspect of our lives. And I'm always encouraged by the scripture that says that um, we shouldn't swear even on our hair or on our head because we cannot make not one hair on our head grow. And it talks about how God um, knows the numbers of hairs that is on our head. Therefore, he knows the number of edges that is on your head. You know what I mean? So, um, I think he cares, so invite him in, ask him, you know, and have faith in it as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say. Any other questions? I think I'm going to take this down now because we've been here for just over an hour, um, which is a little bit longer than what I wanted, but we're having fun. A question here. How long do you maintain this hairstyle for in similar ones and what do you do to maintain the hairstyle? To maintain this hairstyle, this is what I'll do to go to sleep, literally like this. This is me, I go to sleep. I wake up in the morning, my edges will probably be already nice. For the back of my hair, I would spray it with some water, then I'd follow up with my coconut oil. I bought this coconut oil in me guys, I'm so excited about it, look how big it is. Big, big, big. Yeah, follow up with some coconut oil. And then, yeah, yeah, that's it, basically. So, yeah, I can maintain this for mm, about a week. But being me, I change it up. So, this bun, I can change it and add, like, a donut bun, donut to it and then make it into a meat bun. Um, I change my hair constantly. So, I, would, I could, yeah, change up the same style. So, now I'm just going to show you some, like, styling options or things that you can do. So, you've got your nice hair. Now, you're ready to go for your nice wedding, your nice graduation. Um, so something I'll do is I'll take my afro comb because after I put it in the put it in the scarf, it goes a bit smaller. So if you really want to keep it looking big, I just take my afro comb gently and I pull and lift the hair. So I'm not pulling, but I'm just pulling it a little bit. Do you have low? I actually have middle um, props here for my hair. Yeah. So I could, yeah, it's not low, it's not high, which is really, really helpful as well. Where do you find the satin stuff so large though? I can't find them. Mine was just on the hair shop, you know, in Stratford. I live in London, I don't live in London anymore. I always say, I don't live in London anymore, but yeah, Stratford, there was a hair, a hair there. Um, yeah, so I just do this. Because what I like is when you're looking at me, Instagram, you can see a bit of hair on the side. I hate when it looks like I've got no hair because I don't know. I just like it like at every angle. It's looking good like this. So yeah, I pull some hair on the side like this, which I like. And then we've got good balance. Yeah, very good balance. And thank God, man. You know how to how to stop excess shedding. I think um, if any ladies have got any tips as well, please share them so we can all discuss together any advice to stop excess shedding i feel like could be multiple things um i feel like having trims really helps because if you've got dead hair that's like 
stuck to your hair, you've got split ends, all that kind of stuff, that can make your hair shed. Um, I think if you're not conditioning, for example, if you're doing too much moisture conditioning, you're not balanced out with protein conditioning, that can also cause your hair to shed. Um, but I guess it's the trial and error. Um, here we are, we have another a hair expert in the house. There's a difference between breakage and shedding. So, is it breakage or is it shedding? Please let us know. Don't comb your hair when it's dry. Yep, don't comb your hair when it's dry. See, the ladies are supporting. Okay, so, as you guys are sharing, I'm going to show you like what you can do with your hair. So this, my friends, is a lovely necklace that I own. And it ties up like this, and it looks very cute, very lovely. But I love to also restyle this, actually, for my hair. The shedding is the hair coming out of the root for the with the white bulb at the tip, which means it's coming from the root. This is natural. Retrophagiophobic. Oh. Yeah, that's what shedding is. So if it's shedding from the from the root, then then what I was talking about is when your hair's breaking, not when your hair shedding. Apologies. So yeah, to style it, I love this kind of Grecian situation going on here. So this is one way like I style it, especially for like a bridal look. If I'm I am a wedding guest. Um and I'll just take my bobby pins. And then I'll just slide it in. And of course I'll be wearing the right clothing. But this is such a cute, like, bohemian look for the summertime. With a nice maxi dress. Breakage comes from dryness, over manipulation, tight styling, protein overload. That's from the virtuous hair. Easy. So yeah, here's like a styling option. I use lots of protective styles, so I'm not in my hair every day, but there's always lots of shedding, can't tell for sure if it's breakage. Mm. So this is one way you can style the same hair, and then again, if you want to add some jewellery, more jewellery, for me this would be enough, just having stud earrings, this is how I would do it. Alternatively, Yes. So this is how I, I, I get down. This is how I, I make it happen. Alternatively, you can just take down the bobby pins. Don't you say that you don't mess up your hair? Stop on the bobby pin. So yeah, you don't mess up your hair. So yeah, this is just how I style like necklaces and stuff. Alternatively, again, you can take the nice chunky necklace, like so, you know, mm -hmm. and you can really go big with the earrings, and you can do like tassel earrings, yeah, that's it. So here, hair sheds several strands every day. If you have a style for two to three weeks or even longer, you will notice hair coming out of your comb when you wash it, etc. This is normal. Having anemia, low iron levels can cause an excessive shedding. Yes. So yeah, this here we have it, guys. Here is the finished result. For those who wanted to know how I make it happen, this is how we do it. Now I'm going to go to sleep, I'm going to put my headscarf back on and go to sleep and then over the weekend because it's going to be really nice weather over here you might find me with my headband and that kind of look in and out of it um, but yeah I hope this has been useful and helpful thank you so much for joining me, I'm so sorry that I was late I'm going to now log off but um, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you yeah, quick question, what gel do you use? I shared it earlier on, but you may not have been here. So I said I use Eco Styler Gel, but there are some concerns around Eco Styler Gel for many people. Um, so if not Eco Styler Gel, then I use the Aunt Jackie's Dope Shrink Flaxseed Curling Gel. So this gel is really, really good. Flaxseed gel is the way forward. I really like how light and um, simple it is for my hair.
Like I normally watch every week or two. Just to make sure it's in the shop at the moment. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining my live today. Next week, next week, we're going to be back. And next week I'm doing fashion. And I suggest you come back because I'm getting my hair done next week. And I'm going to have fresh hair. And so I'm so excited to show you my new hair. And, um, yeah, and to also show you some styling ideas. Um, so you're welcome, Jessie. Thank you. Kerry, next time you wash, look at your hair and see if there are white bulbs at the end of them. Thank you, Tarika. You've been awesome. Hairstylist on the hip hop. Um, but yes, um, next week, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back next week with a fashion video. So if there's anything you want me to kind of show you, what kind of styling I'm going to show you, wedding styles, or I don't know, tell me what you want. Um, oh, thank you so much, sis. Um, yes, thank you so much. Yeah, so if you tell me what you would like. Um, in terms of yeah, the start the styling I'm going to do next week, um, because obviously clothes are so vast. What do you want to learn? How to style jeans? How to do this? What so we can discuss? Um, and also for those who missed it, I do have an event coming up on the fourth of May where I'm going to be going in depth into hair, fashion, everything. I enjoyed this too, sis. Thank you so much. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a video again. Um, video, I'm going to be doing an event, a full event of Faith Rose and Fashion. So, all of this kind of conversation is going to be happening there on the 4th of May in Barking, the UK. And if you're not in the UK and you're like, I wish I could come, in case you don't know as well, we now are going to be streaming live um, at the event. So, you can buy a ticket um, still on the same um, events page. If you're on YouTube, it's in the description. And on Instagram, it's right there, and it's also in my link, bio link and stuff. Um, so yeah, you guys want wedding, wedding outfits? Hey, this is what I can do. Because I'm doing it live, I can't, like, go and get changed and come back. Do you get what I mean? I might do, actually. It might give you a little fashion show. You don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so next week I'll be back for fashion. So tune in 9 p.m. next week, Wednesday. I'm so sorry that I was late today. Technical issues outside of my control. But, um, yeah, it was so awesome to hang with you. And, yeah, we'll do this again sometime. More kind of um, natural talks. I like this. The natural hair talks. I like it a lot. Thank you, guys. Have a great evening. Peace, love, and pineapple juice. Bye.